Welcome back to Ark with the Rude Man. And it is, oh, it's just stopped raining. Sweet. So it's uh, 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning. We're back at the beach house. If you notice, I've got my ghillie suit on. And I was work I've was i been working on this ghillie suit quite a while. Um, initially, if you remember, I was getting supplies for the ghillie suit uh, by killing those funny little birds. And that's how I lost all my animals in that one episode that everything went to pot. Anyway, um, I was able to make, let's see, what did I make? I, I had the boots and the gloves. And then I went over to one of the uh, loot chests over there. And the loot chest had a chest piece of the ghillie suit and two medium um, garden plots. So I put the garden plots in. I haven't put anything in them. And I went back while I was uh, taking care of the clearing of that jungle over there. A couple of those birds got pretty close uh, to the edge of that area. And I was able to get a couple of them and finish the ghillie suit off. Now, the ghillie suit, what it does is uh, it camouflages you and it keeps you cool. So if you go down on the ground like this, you're kind of camouflaged to animals. <clears throat> they can still see you, and some some animals can see you anyway. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, it's a pretty decent suit. It doesn't have very much defense, though, so it doesn't necessarily work for that. Now, what have I been doing? Let's see. As you can see, I pretty much finished the house except for uh, three places right up there on the top but I got the stone walls in I got the stone windows I got the stone ramp I got everything stone this is a reinforced steel uh, door I'm <clears throat> pretty handy I don't know why these windows didn't match up right I don't know what's going on there I was confused I've been using my fireplace as you can tell I've been working uh, gathering supplies again, clearing, and everybody, including myself, has got level ups to do. So I suppose I should get those out of the way. Let's see, I've got three, so let me take those. Oh, I can't remember what I did the last time. Um, what level am I? 46? Well, let's see, I got 60, 60, 70. All right, I got three, so let's do a melee I'm behind on. We'll take a, um, a health and some weight. We are now level 49. Let's go down and take a look. See what that's going to mean to us. Okay, so it looks like I can learn... Uh, another saddle these are all mod pieces so that's electrical cables and stuff for the uh, I'm not sure which one this is for I don't think this is for the uh, the steampunk set I think this is a different set so I didn't learn much at 49 that I need I can make a fabricator now so I should take that Fabricator, you're going to need that to make the more powerful uh, guns and things. So I'm going to want that. So I'll take that. And then let's take this. Let's see. <clears throat> a metal ladder. I left the wood ladder in there. And I don't know if I need a metal ladder. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, the grappling hook. I want the grappling hook. That's going to be handy. Oh, sweet. I can't remember which level I got that on. So that's cool. A Megalodon saddle. What else did I learn? A Carno saddle. We might have to go get a Carno. That might be kind of fun. Let's learn how to make that. All right.
All right, well, I'm not going to uh, spend a lot of time. i got to find out what a Dunkless Sautius is. Man, I swear. I should pull that up every time because I don't know what any of these things are. <clears throat> All right, well, that's enough for now. Let's carry on, carry on, carry on. Um, my animals all have level ups now too, though. So let's take care of that. One for uh, for Timmy. I'm gonna give him some weight. Weight is important. Stamina is also important for Timmy. Now Molly should have plenty because she's been the one that I've been using to clear all that uh, lumber out. So, yeah, she's got 11. Oh, my goodness. So, let's see. For her, I want to do weight. I don't need melee damage. I'm not going to use her for fighting. So, let's just do one, two, three of those. Whoa, whoa. Settle down, Molly. She gets excited when you do that. And then let's give her some uh, stamina so she can run longer. So, let's give her... Three of those. And a little bit of movement speed. Do three of those. And then let's give her some health. Whoa. Settle down. Settle down. What else have we got? Have you guys leveled? Oh, they got poo. <clears throat> so we got five on this one. We're going to give them... Three melee and two health. And then let's... Oh, the poo one. I should have grabbed the poo first. So who was that? That was... Uh, that was Tam. Let's give... Let's give uh, Pam pretty much the same. Oh, she's got eight. Let's give her three melee... Uh, Three health, and then uh, 275. Let's give her some stamina, and then another melee. Ah, she's got supplies on her. She doesn't need those. Let's take that. Oh, what level was she now? She's level 30, so she's the queen bee. Did uh, Pam have anything on her? No, no, no. Okay. So we got what? Who's left? Poopy's left. Hey, Poopy. Okay, Poopy's got seven. I don't really know what to give her. Um, because she's just making poo poo. Um, let's give her. Well, we'll give her some carry weight. Uh, movement speed, and then the rest in uh, in health. Give her health. She's level 18, so she's just she's just a youngin. What about Paris? What are we gonna give Paris? Six. Okay, so we're gonna give Paris some uh, movement speed, carry weight, and some health. Now nah, we'll give her some. Yeah, let's give her some health. Paris is level 26. Okay, now we got one animal left. What should we give Flint? What is that noise? What the hell makes that noise? Is it the brontosaurus that makes that noise? Alright. Gimme, gimme, Flint. Where's Flint? Come on, open up. Oh, God! What the hell? That thing stole my... Where did it go? Alright, it stole my spyglass. Where did it go? I didn't even see it. That's what was making the noise. Oh, man. It stole my spyglass. I didn't even see where it went. Doggone it. I hate those things. I didn't see it. 
It must have been under the Bronto. Oh, man. If I can find it, I can get that back, but I don't know which way it went. Oh, I feel really bad now. That was my spyglass. Um, tip, a tip, a tip. If you got anything important, don't leave it in, uh, in the hot spot of zero, because that's the one they steal from. And I know better. That son of a gun. And I don't know where this monkey came from. Well, shoot. I guess I lost it. I'm going to have to make another one. I may have to go back up to uh, the volcano and get some more crystal. Whoa, there's a turd. Let's get that turd. This guy didn't kill him by stomping on him, did he? Or I'm just wasting time. Doggone it, though. It upsets me. Well, I'm going to have to go back and get some more crystal unless I had extra. Let's take this poop. Now, I haven't checked for a while, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, that we have developed some uh, fertilizer. So... Yeah, I got fertilizer here. Let's put this poop away and then grab the fertilizer. And let's fertilize this. All right, there's one. And <clears throat> put some fertilizer in over here. There's the other one. Now I was going to plant some seeds. And I couldn't because I needed a medium and a uh, or a large uh, garden spot. So let's see what we've got here for seeds. All right, we've got uh, citronelle. We've got long grass. Uh, stem berries. All right, I want some rock carrots and some long grass. I'm not quite sure what that is. All right, that versus long grass. So they're both about the same, I think. So get rid of my sword. If you remember when I got under Flintstone, that noise that I heard wasn't Flintstone. It was, uh, it was that other thing. Oh, it's growing already. Sweet. I should have known better. All right, that's coming up. Now, I don't have any more fertilizer, but I do have lots of poo. So, let's grab some of this poo. And we'll put it in that small plot there. We're growing stem berries here, I think. Not that I need them. I got tons and tons of stem berries. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go. Oh, I want that. All right, what we get out of that guy? Let's see. Oh, quit picking up rocks. Oh, there's another one. Wait a minute. Let me see what I got out of that. Okay. What did I get? I got 56 out of that one. And I got eight meat and some hide. Look at that. Those things. Those. Go away. Go away. Those things. They have. They have so many resources on them. Where did he go? All right, where did he go? There he is. OK, 
Okay, don't, get away from my animal. Get away. Oh, go get him, guys. All right. You guys are such good hunters. Now, which one? Oh, we got it. Wait a minute. Did I not just level them up? Got another level up. All right, this one got all of me, so we're taking it. All right, good girl, Pam. Okay, so we're going to... I hate those monkeys. They make so much noise. All right, we're going to go take a look at what I've been up to. Oh, there's a green one down there. Uh, green one is... Oh, no, wait a minute. Where is that? It isn't where I thought it was. Where is it? It's probably down in the swamp. I don't want to go in the swamp. Oh, hell no. It's down in the swamp, and it's not even down yet. Wait a minute. It's on a hill. Let's take a quick look around, make sure there's nothing down there that's going to kill me. Or Timmy. There is. No, that's not. He's a he's a tame guy. But that thing's not quite down yet. A green one probably has crap on it. on down it's like the price of rider price is right or something I'm gonna take a look around here just to see what I can see there's the swamp all right you know what I had a um, saddle for a carno I wasn't thinking uh, I was thinking of a sarco the sarco is that big crocodile thing I can't remember what a carno is. Oh, junk a doodle do. Well, I'm gonna take it. But it's pretty much worthless. I got so many supplies and stuff. Alright, Timmy. Take me away. Okay, here's what I want to show you. Um, I'm going across here. I'm gonna go across the swamp show you what I did eventually I'm gonna want to base over in the redwoods because there's a lot of pretty uh, cool animals over here you got your dire bears you got those cats that I was telling you about that can climb rocks and trees and we're gonna want some of those especially the one I want the most is the cat because they are quick, they're tough, and they can pretty much jump from any distance and not get hurt. Plus, they can climb rocks and stuff, so if you come up on a cliff, instead of having to find your way around, just climb right over the top of it with those guys. Got to make sure there's not one hanging in the tree that's going to pounce on me, though. Okay, so if we follow the uh, water here, I'll show you what I've done. Oh, those guys are nasty. Those things with the fins on them. Those things right there. They're tough. Okay, isn't this pretty? We've been over here before. I I flew over here with you once. But what I've done... Oh, man, he just knocked that tree down. All right, well, since I've been over here, I learned how to make something. And I'll show you what it is. If we fly over this way, look at that. I can start building a base. I put this in uh, just before I logged on. This is just the base, and we're going to widen it out. 
eventually. But you're pretty safe up here. And we're going to widen this thing out. You can put uh, extensions on it and make it wider. And then we're going to put walls up. We'll build a base up here. And then eventually I'll throw one over on that tree over there and and uh, link them up. So anyway, that's going to be kind of cool. Let me see something here. I forgot I was going to do something and I didn't do it. Remember when we learned how to make a grappling hook? Ah, doggone it. I should have made one. You know what? I think Steamworks Steamworks Station. I can make one of those. I didn't know that. There's the grappling hook. I need cementing paste and metal ingots. I should have made one before I left. We'll go back and do that because I want to show you that. It's really cool and handy as all get out. Get out, especially if you're over here where there's lots of trees. You can Tarzan it all over the place with those things. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, there's a dire bear down there. Dire bears are cool. Can't wait to get one of those, too. All right, Timmy, take me home. Country roads. The easy way to find your way in and out of this redwood forest is just follow the waterfall. Just follow the waterfall and the water out. Pretty simple. Which reminds me, I think... I think there's a chest here somewhere. Um, I can't remember whether it's on the bridge or not. Maybe not. Well, we'll find it later. Sure I can get a, oh geez, I'm using up all my stamina and I'm not over the uh Oh boy, that was almost a mistake. Yeah, one of the things I learned early on, and I'm still gonna make mistakes uh in it, even though I know, is to save your stamina until you need it, because you never know when you're gonna need it. So like with me flying fast with Timmy because I'm impatient. I almost, uh, I almost ran out of stamina over the swamp, and that would have been lethal for both me and Timmy. But let's say you're on foot, and you're just sprinting everywhere, and you run around a tree, and there's something that you need to run away from really fast. And if you've used up all your stamina just sprinting because you're in a hurry, you may not be able to get away from that thing, whatever it is. So it's always a good idea to kind of save some of your stamina. So if you're doing this kind of thing, don't go till he's tired. Just go part way and then rest him for a minute. And let it build back up if it can. It might not be able to on a single player. I think on my server, there's a setting for... Uh, let you re um, if I'm not mistaken that lets you recharge your stamina while you're while you're flying I think I can't remember but I think there's um, there's a check mark for that all right let's get down okay let's go and do this. How do we do this? Let's see. Grappling hook. What did I need? I needed um, grappling hook. Okay, I need fiber, ceramic paste, metal ingots. Now wait a minute. I've got metal ingots, don't I? Sure I do. Right there. Okay, so weapons, uh, ammunition, Okay, it's not there. 
So evidently I don't need uh, I don't need the uh, this to do it. I can just make it myself. So I do need some of this though. So let's take some of this. Whoops. Let's take uh we don't need only needed what? Only needed one, wasn't it? Or was it more? Um I can't recall. And I need paste. What's it take to make paste? Consumables. Drugs. It's not drugs. It's not drugs. Consumables. Did I not learn how to make paste? Oh, goodness. Maybe I didn't. Hang on. Let's see. Um... Okay, cementing paste. What's it take? Uh, chitin and stone. Okay, can be crafted at a mortar and pestle. So I did not. I did not take it. I didn't learn how to make it. So we need some chitin. Let's grab... Um, gosh, I get rid of all that stuff. Let's grab some chitin. Oh, I already had some. Dang it. I already had some. Let's take 25 chitin and put the rest in there. Okay, let's run over here. Open this up, put the chitin in. And now, cement paste. Let's craft six of those. Wow, takes a while to do that. Let's put this stuff in here. And uh, I don't need any of this other junk. That can go in there. Oh, let's put our food down here. And I gotta get rid of this other junk. I'm carrying too much junk. Oh, the flint can go in here. All right, I made all the paste I can make. Now, let's see, what did I need to make one? I'm missing something, what am I missing? I'm missing cement paint, oh, I didn't take the cement paste out. And uh, I needed nine metal ingots. So, let's grab some of those. Let's do this, and let's do... I'm just going to take 10 because I can't remember what I just said. Was it 8 or 9? I don't recall. Um, okay, I needed that. And I forgot to grab the paste out of the mortar and pestle. Let's grab the paste right there. Okay. Now, let's make this thing. And, whoop, come on, craft me one. This is going to be fun. Oh, by the way, let me take the my hat off and I'll show you uh, what Jennifer's hair is looking like. Let's see here. Let's do something like this. Something like that. And look, boy, it's getting, uh, it's getting uh, longer. Look at the braids are coming in. Look at that. Look at those freckles. That's either freckles or dirt. I'm not sure. Man, she's growing wings on those eyebrows, though. Alright. Whoop. What did I do? What's going on? Okay, let's go back here. And then, let's see. We have our grappling hook. So we're going to take the grappling hook and put it on that right there that crossbow this is gonna be fun this is fun this is fun look you can do it to your animals watch this I'm gonna do um, eight grappling hook and Whee! isn't this fun you can go up 
you can set still like this so you can shoot things from here if you had another gun and then to go down you hit the right mouse button since you down and then you let go whoops let go now it says you consumed one but these are reusable so you'll start stacking them up for no reason you will only need one but here's the cool thing what you can do let's run up to say a tree and like if you're in that redwood jungle where the trees are huge 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 you can do something like this and then you can uh, if you're high enough well we are you can you can um, you can let go and hit your parachute now see I wasn't high enough to to take advantage of that but you can get around pretty good with those like from up there wouldn't that be sweet if you're running away from something you grapple up to the tree drop out of the tree hit your parachute and you're gone whatever's chasing you ain't gonna get you Oh, I thought I was close enough. Well, we can't hit the tree, but I can hit the I can hit the rocks. And then uh and then you can hit the tree. Okay, wait. Here goes. Ready? Oh come on. I can't hit the I must have to hit the trunk. That's probably it. Hit the trunk. Let me get up here. Alright, let's see if I can... Well, come on! I keep hitting the top of the... of the cliff. Well, it takes a little bit of practice, but you can do it. I did this once when I was on the uh, volcano. And I was falling off the volcano. And I kept doing this until I made my way all the way up. It's not very easy to do. But anyway, you get the idea. All right, cool thing, huh? Isn't that sweet? Whoops, hurt myself. Okay, we're gonna run up this way. And uh, let me get rid of that. Yeah, you can, you get in that um, redwood forest and you can get away from a lot of stuff with your grappling gun. And eventually, I'll have a regular gun and tranquilizer darts and I won't need the crossbow for tranquilizers so I'll just leave the grappling hook on it all the time okay so I did work down here a little bit more so let's take a look I haven't cleared my path out here yet but I pretty much cleared everything else out so far I'm gonna I'm gonna probably work this way and get rid of that stuff but anyway I gotta come down here and get the rest of these rocks because these rocks are now there and finish up these brushy trees here but as you can see it's getting pretty clear getting cleared out pretty good I'm gonna continue on and uh, continue around and get the outskirts of this and then I'll start building a wall all the way around here and then put a compound in here anyway I can't do it now um, it's easier to do when I have an animal with me so I can stack the stones on it and, and uh, take them back. So I'll bring I'll bring Molly up here. I might bring Molly and Paris up here and start loading them up with these with these things. Oh, it's getting dark. But anyway, yeah, so I want to uh, clear out. I got to finish the outskirts here because I don't want any of that there. Because I'm going to put a, a wall up there somehow. It may not be a big wall. But here's the thing, I'm trying to figure out how far I want to go down this way. I don't think I want to go all the way. I think I want to go at least clear this out here 
because it's close to this water area right over here. So I think I want this kind of clear here a little bit. I haven't decided yet, but I don't know how far to go this way. I don't want to go too far. I'm thinking about going um I think there's a I think there's a path here. I was thinking about just going down to this path right here and then back up this way, but I'm not sure how much to do. See, I'm almost here now anyway. See, there's the outskirts of where my where my clearing is. But I was thinking about maybe taking this path here. There's one of them nasty birds. Um, it's not much of a path, is it? It's a lot of stone here that I'm going to get. Yeah, see, I was just kind of kind of take this path here and have it join up with this other one. That's what I'm thinking about doing. It's getting dark down here now, though I can't see. Uh-oh, shouldn't have done that. I sound like Hagrid in Harry Potter. I should not have said that. Uh-oh. I'm toasty and I'm lost. It's getting dark. I can't see. There's animals in the jungle. Come on. I gotta get down to give me some water. I can't wait till I can learn a canteen so I can carry water with me. You can you can make a water skin, but it leaks faster than you can use it. Yeah, it's dark. Darn it. Dark on it. Uh, oh, I'm hungry too, darn it. Let me eat. Okay, there might be a little moisture in food. Maybe not. Uh, some foods there are, actually. Some foods you can eat and, it, and there's moisture in it. Now, if you look over to the right where it's showing me uh, how much food I've got, all that stuff you'll notice up above the white arrow that shows me my level that there's now some stars that means I'm about to pass out so as soon as I drink that should start coming back yeah see I would I was actually hurt So let me go back in here and we'll wait till morning time. Okay, say, while I was waiting for daylight, I went over here and started making some uh, drugs. And I also made um, the three walls that I need for upstairs, I thought. Now, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was down below. Never mind. Okay, so I made these three walls. Let's throw those in. We can finish upstairs. But also, what I was doing was... Uh, I was making some, uh, some more drugs. So I made some more drugs. But I didn't realize that I had not learned how to make stimulants. So I went in and bought the Ingram for that. Stimulants are always good. Uh, if you start going caving where the monsters are, you're going to get hurt and you might need some stimulant. So, let's see, what does it take to make stimulant? Uh, spoiled meat. Oh, I used all the spoiled meat for the, uh, for the drugs. Darn it. Oh no, that's narco. No, that's not what I was looking for. Oh, spark powder and stim berries. Alright, so let's do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to craft a bunch of those. Oh, that's pretty quick. Okay, it increases your health, but it puts it, uh, but puts you to sleep. Now, um, that's true and not true. It depends on whether you've been putting points into um, whatever that was. It's not stamina. Um, torpor. They call it torpor, I think. If you've got high high that, you can you can take more before you actually fall asleep. The same as if you're being attacked by something that poisons you. You can resist it more if you put uh, points into that. So, uh, I'm going to leave the stimulant in there. I don't really want it. 
right now. I don't want to carry it around. Uh, but what I'm talking about, it looks like I've got a level up. I do. I do have a level up. So let's, it's fortitude. Fortitude. Now, if you get hit, see this right here, this torpidity? That's what I was showing you over here to the right underneath the house sign. There was those stars. I was passing out. And so when something hits you with poison or or smacks you or whatever, knocks you out, the higher level you have here in, uh, in fortitude, the more you can take a knockabout uh, or poison. So I'm going to put another one in there. I, I'm going to want that up to 30 or 40. Oh, we're level 50 now. Because if we ever go to, if I ever go to, um, say, Scorched Earth, um, you're not going to make it if you don't have some kind of um, torpidity on you because uh, you, it's, it's too hot there. I, I've died so many times when I first went there because I didn't put a lot of uh, points into torpidity. And it got so hot you couldn't get away from the heat and I'd die even in an adobe hut. So I want to make sure I put a little bit more in there. Okay, we're 50. What did we learn at 50 that we can't live without? Oh, a metal sign and a wall sign. Uh, industrial grill. Oh, if we get a parasaur, we can make a platform saddle. That's cool. Might want one of those. Lamp post, a camera. All right, so nothing I can't live without except for that. That might be kind of cool. Sweet. Yeah, I might have to make one of those. All righty. Okay, I'm wasting time. Let's run up and let's get upstairs. If I can find the stair. There. Okay. Now wait a minute. There are stone walls up here. What was that on the outside? Huh. I think I'm going to want to put a, a wall or a door in here. So let's go back down. Go outside. Get my grapple gun out. Let's grapple up there. Okay, so those wooden walls, uh, they must be on the outside of the stone walls. That's weird. Let's see what happens if I demolish that. Yeah, there's stone on the inside. Okay, there we go. That's weird. Yeah, it looks it looks like that one sticking out, doesn't it? Oh man, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. Huh. I don't know if I still have my gun. Do I have my... I do. Let's put this in uh, 9. What happens if I take that one out? And put it back. Where is it? Oh, it's in 7. Alright. So let's see about putting that back. No, it just looks that way. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder if I don't have it inside out. Let me... And I got alarms going off everywhere. Let me flip that and see that is better. That nah, looks the same. Oh well. Too bad. So no, it doesn't. It looks different. It looks now. It looks like it's really wrong. Oh well. I'm gonna end the episode here. Hope you had fun. If you did give it a like, share it with a friend. Um, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you back on uh, Ark in the next episode. And we gotta figure out what we're gonna do then. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.